100 players who shook the cup. Shook the cup. Thank you, players forward here at Liverpool. That's nice. That's McDermott and that's a goal. Teddy McDermott's are absolute legends, and I mean legends. One of the only fellas in KB I've seen with a real big bushy muzzy, by the way. But uh, Teddy's bandy legs must have got him across them fields of KB when he was young. What a fantastic football he turned out. To. And he also he had his uh, Mexican spaghetti western moustache, which stood him out from the, the rest. He, he first of all started his career at the Berry, and then he went to Newcastle. And I was with, with, with Terry in the 74 Cup final which we don't particularly want to talk about. And I actually went to that match, only, well, it was my first Wembley experience, I think, you know, uh, uh, for the cup final anyway. And I always remember Teddy McDermott being um, a really hard working player, you know, and he was really, although he was from Liverpool and it was well documented, you know, his uh, support for Liverpool as a Newcastle player, player, he was actually, you know, he was, he was covered every every blade of grass, you know, he was absolutely fantastic really, you know, and you could see how much it hurt him, even getting beat by a, a team he'd supported as a lad, you know. I think Liverpool saw the potential in Terry, a young 21-year-old, 22, uh, playing well in midfield for Newcastle. Um, they bought him, paid 170000 for him. And what a midfield player. I think anyone who's ever played the game would always want a Terry McDermott in the team, you know. He was he never gave up, Terry McDermott. He never gave up, but he was also a very intelligent player. You know, probably didn't get the credit he deserved for his um, technical ability and his first touch, but he was just up and down. You know, so so much energy. You know, he was just a fantastic player. You know, just the engine. I mean, today imagine what what he'd be worth in today's value. You know, the money. You know, players like that are just. And he was, as we all know, he was like, uh, he liked a little tipple, Terry, now and again, you know what I mean? But it didn't affect him, so, like, you can get away with that. You know, as long as you're positioning it on the field, I've always said that, you know, if you can do it on the field, well, it doesn't matter what you do off it. And Terry was certainly one of them. To describe him, he's a, people talk about box-to-box -box players now, but that's what Terry McDermott was, you know, before they even had the expression, before everyone became experts on football. That's what Terry McDermott was. The thing about Terry, Terry lo loves having a good laugh, and uh, that, that's shown a lot of the times in his play. And one of the, the great things, I remember, remember old Terry McDermott, we were beating Aston Villa one day when Aston Villa were near the top of the league, away from home at Villa Park, and Terry McDermott, uh, Liverpool were winning 3-0. And I always remember Graeme Sunes telling this story, but I actually noticed it from the, where I was on the ground. And as the Liverpool team broke out, Aston Villa were all out of tack because they were 3-0 down at half-time. And as they went out, all, out of tack, the, the Max Ehrman had intercepted the ball and as they broke out, it was just all Liverpool jerseys and there was no Villa players. So all the Liverpool team were running towards the goal, messing with the ball, and there's no Villa players because they're all like too busy in our area. And Max Ehrman just stopped, put his foot on the ball and went, da -da 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 -da, which I thought was a fantastic thing to do. Yeah, Scouser, um, you know, scored great goals, um, great uh, energy levels. Um, made the team play, maybe a bit similar to the way I play today. And you can never forget, the, the chip he scored over uh, Dave Lawson in the semi-final against Everton at uh, Main Road. You know, uh, that was a cracking goal. Neil is up on the far post, calling for a cross. McDermott. Oh, that was beautiful! And Terry McDermott has chipped the goalkeeper. I remember one game. Um, here in 78 that we played against Tottenham Hotspur. Terry scored that, didn't he? Johnson. And Johnson the ball into acres of empty space for Highway. And Highway a brilliant crossback. And what a classic goal. The all time classic goal, the goalkeeper, bump, bump. Is it uh, Steve Highway, Davy John O, cross, bump, get in. And uh, Terry McTamey. Wonderful fo natural footballer, I would call Teddy McDermott, a natural footballer. And we were winning 6 0 at this particular game. And just to typify what, what um, Terry was all about, he was guarding the far post. He, was taught, he wasn't the bravest of players, certainly in, in head and stakes. And his perm was there, like, he didn't want to get, you know, get it, um, you know. He didn't want it to sort of like uh, damage his hair. And um, the ball came into the box, and we're winning 6 0, five minutes to go. And he eventually made a run 
uh, towards their, their box. And the ball got played out of the box to David Johnson. David Johnson found Steve Highway. Steve Highway one touch. The ball curled to the far post. Who was there? And it was Terry Mack. He made the run, which was a full 85, 90 yards, just to get this goal. Now that's how important it was to him to make that run. You know, whether you're 6-0 up, you're 7-0 up, fantastic goal. Probably his, his most famous goal would be against Tottenham in the sixth round of the Cup. And I think it was about 1980, 81. Uh, and a spectacular goal from uh, the edge of the box. Oh dear, McDermott. What a try! Oh! McDermott has done it again! Another magnificent goal from the man who could well be one of the footballers of the year. And it took Barry Danes and Tottenham by surprise. But what can you do with a shot like that? Terry, you, uh, I owe you an iron for that because we got a bad time after that game because of that goal. They knocked Tottenham out in the quarterfinals that day and uh, when we went out that day the Tottenham supporters were not too happy and it was probably the worst time we've ever had at a football match and uh, we were getting bricks thrown at us, bottles and that's all down to Terry McDermott's volley. The best ever goal I ever seen him score was up at Aberdeen in 1980, winter 1980. Uh, it was Baltic when we went up there that day, I think it was November something like that. And uh, we, there was only a thousand of us went up there and we chucked in the corner up in, uh, in, in Pittsordy as it was then. And, but to see that goal that he scored, as, as you, I'm sure we all know it, he runs up, little chip, so close to the goalie and chipping it over him like that. Dalgleish. Oh, nicely played by Johnson to Terry McDermott. And a little chip from McDermott and what a lovely goal. And so typical of the player. Terry McDermott produces a special and it was an incisive move by Liverpool. Kenny Dalgleish began it with the ball inside. Johnson, a lovely first time pass and look at the delicate chip by Terry McDermott. We went ballistic and, but it was, it was well, well worth the tip because uh, after, the, after the game it was, uh, it's gone down as the attack of the Billy Connollys. There's about 500 mad Scotsmen all chasing all around the place you know, looking for us. And we were all at our Adidas Samba on and, and our wedge hairstyles and all that and we were easily sussed. But, it was well worth it. We could, I got back the next morning, seven o'clock in the morning, went straight to work. I was wiped out. The train got stopped in Scotland because it was freezing. It was too cold to carry on. So we were all huddled up on the special. But I mean, uh, when I think back to those times, I mean, it was well worth it. Sonny McTain was a legend. In terms of midfield players, you know, he had everything. He could tackle. He could shoot. He had uh, he had an engine on him. Uh, he could see the the visionary pass. You know, he just you know he was the complete player really. And also, you could put him at right back. I reckon he would have done a good job at right back, uh, even centre half, maybe, you know, because he was a fighter, McDermott. He never gave up, you know, and he needed that type of spirit in, in, uh, in the team to, to achieve things. And I think he provided that uh, fighting spirit. Kennedy. And again, McDermott has got into a good position, and this time makes it tell. Dermott will have another try, and he's got it! Kennedy. He's going right, but Dermott left, and could it be his hat-trick? Yes, it can! Again, we talk about the spirit of the game. Probably, as I said before, underrated by, certainly by England. Um, you know, Ray Wilkins, Brian Robson were in there. But Terry McDermott must rate as one of the one of the greatest midfield players that Liverpool have ever had, and in fact that England have ever had. He's an absolute legend in my eyes, and I'll never forget him. It's going to come to McDermott to shoot. Clean as a whistle. Kennedy finding Dalgleish. Little flick. Oh, what a lovely goal by McDermott! That really was a great goal. McDermott making a run down here, and he's onside too. And the little chip's all it needed, and McDermott delivers it. Oh yes, he enjoyed that one. That was the mark of a master craftsman.